You know, looking back, 1972, having started a company. You were like four, right? You were four, Steve. I was younger. I was young. I had no idea what I was doing, you know. And, uh, you know, I, I really started with no capital, and you couldn't raise capital in those days. So I concentrated. And I, did, I was a tax lawyer, so I started in affordable housing uh, because you didn't have to worry about the market for it. It was a question how you built it and understanding the complexities of developing affordable housing uh, was something that I kind of <clears throat> learned about, educated myself about, and dealing with the government and all their programs. So it was really a great time to start. And I guess uh, by 1980, I'd built probably uh, 5,000 units of affordable housing. And then wanting to really use that as a base to really uh, build a company, and it's really the foundation of our company. Uh, today still, we we'll probably have one of the largest portfolios of affordable housing in the United States. We have over 60,000 units. But in the interim, we kind of uh, branched off into market rate uh, residential, then office buildings, retail, um, hotels, and did mixed use. Um, and, you know, it's, it's, it's a good story. You can look back and Especially in these times, you know, we probably grew to become the largest developer in the country uh, with offices, you know, scattered around the country. But these certainly are a lot of uncertain times. I think times that any of us who've been in the business have really never faced and never even thought we'd be, you know, dealing with, you know, the ramifications of a pandemic um, and the impact of that and also the change that's occurring in the world today. I mean, I've never seen change, you know, at this pace and what's going to be needed as we transition our whole economy, you know, the world getting off of fossil fuels, going into a third industrial revolution type of economy. So I think, you know, the next, you know, I think 20 years are going to be very exciting uh, because when you have these type, this type of economy, it really, uh, and, and you have so much change occurring, it opens up opportunities. And I think there's probably more opportunities now available uh, as a result of this pandemic than I've really kind of seen in my lifetime. And, but I think you really have to be, you know, kind of having a real vision of where the world is going um, and, and really kind of understand it probably better, which, and it is not easy to understand today. So, you know, it's, uh, these are exciting times. I don't know if you're exciting for an 80-year-old, but what can I tell you? <laughs> Thank you.